let's talk about the reaction with the metals and non metal with acid we know that the non metal generally do not react with the acid while the metal react with acid and when the metal react with the acid they produce hydrogen gas which uh, and these hydrogen gas when burn it produce pop sound so the uh, to be if you want to be confirm that the uh, acid uh, metals are react with the acid and non metals are do not react with the acid so uh, for that confirmation let's perform the one activity in that uh, so to perform in that activity we have to take the sample of metal and non metal like magnesium aluminum iron copper charcoal sulfur in the we take all these metals and non metal into the separate test tube and we have to be labeled each test tube with a b c d and f with the help of the dropper dropper we have to be add 5 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid to each test tube one by one now we have to be observe the reaction care fully okay so this uh, this reaction is for we are performing on the room temperature so if we observe this reaction so magnesium gave the reaction and produce hydrogen at the room temperature the same the aluminium also react and give the hydrogen at the room temperature iron also react with the acid dilute hydrochloric acid and give the hydrogen gas copper is not react with the hydrochloric acid at the room temperature and they also not give the hydrogen gas charcoal which is we have to take in the powder form that is also not the react with the dilute hydrochloric acid at the room temperature and the sulfur is also not react with the sulfur powder also not react with the dilute hydrochloric acid at the room temperature if we if there is no reaction takes place so in the cold solution so what we have to do we have to warm the test tube gently if we are warm the test tube gently so the magnesium the reactions Uh, the rate of reactions is increased in the case of magnesium the same result we are also found in the case of aluminium and iron but in the case of copper when we add the dilute hydrochloric acid and give the heat uh, so it's then the copper charcoal and sulfur do not give the any reaction now let's take the In the same way. Now, if we bring the burn, burning matches stick near the mouth of the heat test tube, so it gives the pop sound. Now we have to be repeat this activity with the with the dilute sulfuric acid instead of the dilute hydrochloric acid. So if we add the on the heat test tube in which the magnesium aluminium coil. aluminium foil and iron free copper peeled flexible wire charcoal powder sulfur powders are present if you are adding the 5 ml of the dilute hydrochloric acid so when we are adding the dilute hydrochloric acid into the magnesium test tube so in, in the test tube way, so it's keep the it will give the reaction it react and give the hydrogen gas the, and uh, when we adding the dilute hydrochloric acid into the aluminium iron so they also react with the dilute hydrochloric acid and give the hydrogen while the copper also react with dilute hydrochloric acid and they give the hydrogen gas instead of charcoal and sulfur does not react with the dilute hydrochloric acid at the room temperature and they also do not give the any gases if we are going to increase the uh, by if we heat the test tube all the test tube when so the rate of reaction is increased in the case of magnesium test tube aluminium iron and copper 
why in the case of charcoal and sulfur they do not also still they do not give the any other reaction so we can say that the metals uh, metals generally do uh, non metals do uh, generally do not react with the acid but metal react with the acid and they produce the gas that burn with the pop sound these pop sound indicate the presence of hydrogen gas okay and we also have to notice that the copper does not react with the dilute hydrochloric acid even on the heating but it react with the sulfuric acid okay that means we can say that the metal react with the acid while uh, and give the hydrogen gas while the non metal do not react with the dilute acid and they can uh, metal do not react with the non metal do not react with the acid and they even after the heating now let's talk about the reaction with base of metals and non metal metal also react with the base and they evolve hydrogen gas with the pop sound whenever it burn or come in the contact of uh, flame or fire for example aluminum react with the base and evolve hydrogen gas which give the pop sound when burn with the match stick to understand this phenomena we have to be perform a activity in which we have to prepare a fresh solution of sodium hydroxide in the test tube and how do we have to prepare the sodium hydroxide we have to dissolve the 3 to 4 pellets of it into the 5 ml of water and then a drop of the piece of aluminum foil we have to drop the piece of aluminum foil into the test tube now we have to bring a burning match stick near the mouth of the test tube and we have to be also carefully so when we are bringing the match stick near the mouth so we observe that the colorless gas is evolved which burn with the pop sound which this shows that the aluminum react with base on heating and they produce gas these and they produce hydrogen gas these hydrogen gas when come in the contact with the burning match stick they produce the pop sound which is the indication of release of hydrogen gas while the reaction of non metal with base are the very complex let's talk about the displacement reaction we know that into the displacement reaction the one metal displaces the another metal from its compound in the aqueous solution for example to understand the displacement reaction of the of the displacement of one metal with the another metal we have to perform the one activity in which we have to take the 5 uh, 500 ml beaker and we have to label them with the a b c d and e now we have to take the 50 ml of water in each beaker and then we have to dissolve the in each beaker a teaspoon of the substance as uh, uh, like in the beaker a zinc sulfide uh, zinc sulfate and in the beaker b iron sulfate now after that we have to keep the beaker undisturbed for the some time and then we have to observe this beaker so what we are observing in the beaker a we are able to find the copper sulfate and zinc granule while 
including coal maker B, we are able to find that the copper sulfate plus iron nail. Okay? In the beaker C, we are able to observe that the zinc sulfate plus copper turning means copper we are able to find. In the beaker 4, we are able to find iron sulfate and copper. In beaker E, we are able to find the zinc sulfate and iron. So if we talk about the conclusion of this reaction, so we can say that in the beaker A, zinc replaced from the co replaced from copper sulfate so that sorry, the zinc replaced the copper from the copper sulfate and a blue color of copper sulfate change into the colorless and powdery red mass of the copper is deposited at the bottom of the beaker. Okay? Now, in beaker B, the iron is replaced by copper, replaced to copper from the solution and the blue color of copper sulfate change into green color of ferrous sulfate. Okay? Now, in the beaker C, D and E, we are not able to see the any changes or heat evol evolution. So, we it indicate that the metals are unable to display displace the other metal from its solution. Okay? One thing, why they are not able to displace? Because a more reactive metal can replace the less reactive metal, but a less reactive one cannot replace a more reactive metal. So we can say that there is a no displacement reaction takes place in beaker D and E. So we can say that the sequence of metal from more reactive, uh, we can say that the zinc is the more reactive with the iron and iron is the more reactive with the copper. Okay? Let's talk, let's talk about the last topic of today's lecture in Shiva. Use of metals and non-metals. Metals are used in making machine, automobiles, airplanes, train, satellite, industrial gadgets, cooking, utensil and water boiler, etc. Okay? While the non-metals are used, are essential for the living, for the survival of living organisms, it's also used in the fertilizer, in the fertilizer to enhance the growth of plant. The non-metallic compounds are also used in in wound as a, as antiseptic as a antiseptics, and they also use non-metals are also used in the making of crackers. This is. And this is all about today's lecture. Thank you. Have a nice day.